Yeah, I have no idea if this is going to work. I hope it does. I was thinking um, it's probably going to be one of the only ways I'm going to end up playing this, you know, unless, I, like I said, if I run it at a convention or whatever, the um, the Axis Analyze World War I, 1914. It was weird when I was taking a look at um, how they do the uh, sides here, like uh, two to two to seven players or whatever. And uh, anyways, what I would like to do, I was thinking, you know what, why don't you um, do what I, I like to do with um, jigsaw puzzles and stuff. And that's just like leave it, leave it um, on a table. And when people do show up or whatever, uh, they can just, you know, uh, fiddle around with the jigsaw puzzle. So I was thinking, hey, wait a minute, I'll maybe do this. Like if, you know, when Stefan and Zoe pop over and they're like, hey, what's going on? I could say, this is what's going on. And uh, do you want to make a move or do this, that, or the other thing? And uh, I was talking to uh, with Rob about it. He was like, yeah, it seems like a really cool idea. And then I was like, hey, wait a minute. That I'll just, that maybe this is what I'll do as well for my community tab or whatever. I'll just put it up. And it's, there's no, um, you know, I just pop them up. And somebody s says, yeah, move that, do that, whatever. I don't know. I haven't even read the freaking rules yet. I, I've never played Axis and Allies. So, um you know, it'll be, I don't know. I, I just would like to give it a shot. Like I said, I'm always trying, I just would like to, you know, find different ways of interacting with people too. And on a side note, I guess, yeah, I am, uh, even though I've, uh, I'm going to have to switch the music. I'm still in, like I'm listening to, um, still listening to some pretty hard, uh, hard techno, techno right now. It's just uh, Tiger Head actually, but um, it's just, and I'm, I'm finding it because, uh, good, because it's really fitting for what's about to happen with the November massive attack there with the Germans. It's just this, well, the music's kind of like a relentless sonic assault and so is uh, what's going to happen to the Russians. Oh, jeepers jumping. But anyways, uh, let's get back to this. Um, yeah, like I said, I got to go off and read later. So obviously I have to shift the, uh, shift the music. Um, you know, I can't, it, difficult to read with, um, like really like soak in stuff. Uh, if, like I'm, you know, going to read the great war in Africa or something. It's a bit difficult to, to do that. Like, you know, whatever. Anyway. So I don't know if you guys think it's a good idea. I think I'm going to give it a shot. I, like I said, I have no flipping clue about the rules. I don't know anything, but I'm not getting into the two, uh, into the five, six or seven players. I'm just going to keep it as two players, uh, thingamajig. And, uh, like I, I knew from the get-go when I was going to get this game when I saw it, I was like, yeah, I'm not expecting some massive historical. It's, it's you know, it's it's a it's a World War One themed game, I would say. <laughs> That's why I'm going to look at it. I'm not going to say it's a whatever, but, I'm, yeah, I'm going to have as much. It's the same as, like, uh, Risk Europe or something like that. I don't know what time period that would be, but I certainly not. You wouldn't say, boy, that's a Napoleonic, you know, game kind of thing, or you want to play Napoleonic, it's just, pull out the risk Europe thing or, you know, whatever. Anyways, that's it. Hope you're having a good one. See ya.